On the last show, I mentioned that Mitt Romney could not be a less genuine person and that half of the stuff he's doing is either just making stuff up, like, for example, that, hey, hey, he's unemployed, too. Same with all politicians. Right. But with Romney, it has been he's taking it to a new level, including taking a picture with a woman who's allegedly unemployed. It's actually a campaign staffer or volunteer. It was up in I don't remember which state in the Midwest. Well, Mitt Romney's at it again. He's using Republican activist Ryan King to portray a, quote, struggling man in an ad. I'm going to play the ad for you. And the claims that are made here are truly incredible, not because they would be impossible to be true, but because they're just not true about this individual. Take a look at this. We measure of what constitutes progress in this country. We measure progress by how many people can find a job that pays the mortgage. Whether you can put a little extra money away at the end of each month so you can someday watch your child receive her college diploma. Uh, frustration is the big word. Anything that I'm qualified for, you know, that people are looking for, they also want experience. And I mean, you know, because of the economy and the way it is, you know, there's so many people that are looking for jobs, you know, but at the same time, my hands are tied. How can I get experience if no one's going to hire me in? It's Ryan King. I was born and raised in uh, D. Ford, Michigan. Just graduated college with my bachelor's degree in business administration. Am I struggling right now? Absolutely. You know, I, I buy bologna and bread commonly because it's cheap. It's what I eat. Um, you know, it's just kind of, it's, you know, like right now I probably have about $3 to my name before I cash my paycheck tomorrow. So it's, it, it does get rough. Okay, so this, this is a sad story. This is a common story. And I completely sympathize with the people who are in that situation. I empathize. <clears throat> However... It turns out that this particular video is a total sham. The guy graduated from college. He appears to have a job. The video, it's, it, which is entitled Obama's Misery Index, Ryan King talks about being a victim of the recession. He's eating bologna sandwiches because he has $3 to, admit, to his name. Upon some very basic investigation, though, Lewis, the story has a number of holes, according to numerous outlets who have shredded this latest ad as basically a work of fiction. Turns out Romney's struggling everyman was identified as the vice treasurer of the Midland County Young Republicans by the Midland Daily News in 09. He's been an activist since. His Facebook page features him partying at the Michigan GOP convention in 2011. As far as his job status, blaming Obama is not really fair. As well as the fact that according to the Daily Mail, King took to his Facebook page in May, boasted about getting a job at Quality Marketing Enterprise as a marketing accounts representative. Washington Post is reporting he's no longer employed there. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. This is the kind of ad we've come to expect. And you know, the worst thing about it isn't that Mitt Romney is lying in this ad or he's deceiving. It's the fact that more money than ever, as I mentioned last week, and I will mention again as we get closer to the election, more money than ever is going to be spent on this election for ads like this. This ad, who knows how much it costs to produce and how much the airtime costs, could fix real problems. It could actually address the issues of poverty that Ryan King is pretending to say he to is a victim from, of. Yeah. That's really the saddest part.